Is YouTube a waste of time? Grandma's Porch, a place to relax, a place to enjoy. Come visit Grandma's Porch. Is YouTube a waste of time? Hello, y'all. I'm Diana Brienne. Well, I just got in from my five-mile run, and it was wonderful, wonderful. It was cool today, so it was just so nice out there. A bit overcast, and but yet it was wonderful, wonderful. So I got to thinking, um, is YouTube a waste of time? You know, we were growing at leaps and bounds, or many of us were growing at leaps and bounds, and then they made all the changes, and now it's a lot harder to grow. And I think a lot of people feel a sense of discouragement, and a lot of people feel like they want to abandon ship. And I understand that. I mean, I kind of have some of those feelings, too, to some degree. And yet, I realize my main purpose for being here is to share my daily insights and wisdom them. And I like to do that, especially for my children to have easy access in the future to mommy's uh, wisdom. And so I do that. And that's my purpose for being here. So I have a higher purpose um, for my reason for being here. And yet, is YouTube a waste of time? You know, I think for many, they're beginning to say, hey, why am I even here? Why am I having a channel? I'm putting all this time, all this energy. I can't grow, or at least I'm not growing, or I don't seem to be able to find a way to grow. Um, no one's watching my videos, or, um, um, you know, it's just not worth the time and effort. And I think this way, you know, you have to decide what's your purpose for being here. My purpose is to have a running dialogue of my wisdom and insights for my children and it easily accessible for my children, my family, my friends, and now for the public. I don't give advice. I don't give suggestions. I just share my views on life in general. So whether I have five people on my channel or five million, it doesn't matter. Yes, I love to grow. I love to make new friends. I like to add new subscribers to my channel and yet it may be more challenging and difficult now. So so a person has to decide, is it worth it for them to be here? Will this work for them? For some people, it will. They'll find a way around it and they will grow and they'll make, uh, you know, they have different reasons like I do for being here. Other people, it's all about, you know, more subscribers and getting bigger, bigger, bigger. Some of those people may rethink, you know, their approach to their channel or they may find a new way to grow, grow, grow. I don't know. I think everybody has their reasoning for being here. And so I think we have to decide what is our reason for being here in the first place. Once we know that, then I think we have a better idea of why we we're here. Um, for me, it's not a waste of time to be here. I enjoy being here. I connect with many, many new friends. I love that. I love that. It's a great way to get to know other people because while well, we see each other in real time, if we're doing live streams or we get to watch each other's life in videos. And so I love that. I've got to make so many new friends. And yet I keep it in perspective. I have other areas of my life that need my focus. I go to college at age 63. I have a family of three young adult children and a husband. I run, I exercise. I'm an artist. I, I write. I do so many things. So I keep it in balance for me. It would become a waste for me if 
my whole life was centered around YouTube and every area of my life was centered around YouTube, then that would become a waste for me personally. For other people, it may not be. For some people, um, their goal or where they're at may be to have a huge channel and they're making a lot of money off of it or whatever. And that's wonderful. And so that's where their priority is and it's not a waste of time for them. But for someone who wants to become an instant overnight success and they feel disappointed and uh, they want to grow, 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 but they're not growing, um, they either may want to rethink their approach or they may want to um, change the amount of time that they're here. I mean, I don't know. Everybody is different. So we have to decide is um, being here on YouTube blessing our life or is it depleting our life? For some people, if they're giving, giving, giving and getting nothing in return, then perhaps it is a waste. But for others who are getting something in return in whatever way, like for me, it's knowing that I have my running dialogue of my insights and wisdom up here easily accessible. Um, so for me, it's, it's a blessing. Um, whether I have, like I said, one, five, or five million. Um, I don't know if I'm going to grow. I don't know if I'm going to backtrack. I don't know. That doesn't concern me. My concern is making great videos. And so is YouTube a waste of time? I think it's a personal decision. I think it's a personal determination. Um, for some, it's a blessing. Um, sometimes people have to change their approach. Sometimes they have to change the amount of time and energy. Maybe they don't want to give as much now like they did before because, well, maybe they're not getting as much benefit or maybe they have to change things in order to get the benefit that they got before or to get the benefit that they want in the future. So I think we have to decide it's a personal decision um, what we choose uh, for the amount of time that we're here. Um, is it a blessing or is it a waste of time? Only a person each person can decide that for themselves. From my house to yours, may God bless you and I hope to talk to you soon again. Bye-bye. to relax and a place to enjoy.